Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You might as well watch something. Today we're going to be talking about the Gold River Project. The Gold River Project is an upcoming survival adventure type of game. The story of this game is that you and three friends are offered a week-long remote camping trip. You soon discover that you're not where you seem and you must escape. The big twist on this game that other games don't really have is seasons. The game has currently three seasons instead of four seasons, like the usual four seasons. Uh, instead of spring, summer, winter, and fall, they have summer, fall, and winter. But... In today's video, we're mostly looking at the Kickstarter, which will be in the link in the description, and we'll also be looking at maybe their YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, which will all also be linked in the description down below. So, you know, I already told you how it begins. Uh, here's a little bit of background to the Gold River Project. The Gold River Project was commissioned in the summer of 1965 after a large parcel of land was purchased in, a in an undisclosed location in the Pacific Northwest. The project was to determine the effects of excessive exposure to seasonal elements on wildlife. After the Gold River Project was decommissioned in the mid-80s due to budget cuts, it was reopened in 1998, open in new management. And after wildlife accelerated, but the results didn't, and that's not a good step, was humans. And that's where you guys come in. Somebody, somebody got you guys, and they trapped you in here, and they're trying to see, you know, how you would react, what's going to happen to you, and things like that. The motto of the game, or the three words of the game, is scavenge, solve, survive. you got to scavenge the world to find resources and the occasional note for survival, and you also be able to find resources that you're able to craft things into you like maybe you want to be able to craft a campfire maybe you want to be able to craft three labs for each season and every time every time you deactivate a season a new season approaches every time you deactivate a wall a new season approaches within the zones there are randomly placed submissions that power the wall find the submissions solve the puzzle within and disable the wall however this may not be the only way to escape there's also two ways to escape there's either one way of you could just do it the regular way which is going to take a little bit longer but if you go over to the laboratory, you're gonna have to sneak stealth and have a lot of skill just to be able to go through in there. And the other thing is survive. Surviving is kind of mandatory in this game. There's gonna be four. There's gonna be four. There's gonna be four stats they have to maintain. You have to maintain your health, stamina, food, and water. The other thing that they have in this game is settlers. These settlers are you are not the first first people to be led to this trap. There were other campers before you, people just like you, and they got trapped and they got, couldn't escape, or they didn't want to escape. And these people are known as the settlers. There are three different there are three different factions, all of them consisting of three different type of playstyles. Faction one, these campers formed a faction that is peaceful. These guys, they these guys are very passive. If you befriend them, you can. You can get a big favor, but if you threaten them, they then they will flee. Faction two, these guys hold their ground and protect their camp, and they are not willing to sacrifice a life. These guys, it'd be worthwhile to uh, spend at their camp because you know if they're gonna if they want to defend their camp that badly, maybe they might have a lot of stuff. Maybe they have some guns that you could use. Faction three, these guys are un stable these guys are unstable they need to be avoided at all costs and these guys work closely with few of the rogue scientists from the laboratory and they control the experiment if you're feeling brave infiltrate your, infiltrate their camp and you might find a way into the laboratory and you also be able to find things like key cards and these key cards will most likely you know be able to help you in finding or getting a way into the lab but hope you guys enjoyed this video by me miss watch if you guys enjoyed this video, like comment subscribe don't forget to check out all of their social medias in the description below and back this project any money counts any money counts and it'll be great hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like on it and subscribe What's in the box? Not taking, give me the What's gun. in the box?